every show that we've done has been shot in the same room, whether it's in my shoes, housekeeping, and Mental Health Monday. And now that I have a bigger space and I have other opportunities, I think it's time for each show to either spread its wings and spread out or figure out a different space and concept that really highlights the strong point of the content that we've shot so far. Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Juice Jones from Get Home Safe and it's been quite some time since I did one of these videos. So, as you can see, I'm moving. Currently, we're uh, disassembling the studio. This is my first official studio that we've ever had when it comes to the content that we've made and I just I just want to say uh, thank you for the support while uh, looking for a new property for my partner and I to move into we had to look at a lot of spaces to see where could we afford that had a nice bedroom and a bigger space for all the content that I'm creating because the studio travels with me this is shot within my home if anybody hasn't picked up on that yet and we finally came across a superb couple bedroom spot and i was taking apart the studio putting up the art uh removing some of the nails from the wall and screws hitting up a couple of folks for installations as we put this back together and figure out how we want the new studio to be built out i'm also sick by the way sick and i just woke up about five minutes ago and i was like ah you know let me just shoot a video but man a studio i've been doing this work since 20 2018 2019 2019 till about present but i never had an official studio to shoot the content that i would like that's like a separate space until like the year before last and i don't i don't think we really saw this platform and the work that we've done getting here especially so quickly i think it was a lot of trying to figure out do we need other studio spaces that we could just rent things out in it was a lot of okay if you shoot this inside the house what do the boundaries between you and your partner what is that supposed to look like um what kind of content and shows are you gonna do and what do you need to be careful of with the content that you put together and how do you want the space to make people feel a lot of the content that i've come up with and a lot of the work that i've i've done so far comes from a very painful place i've lost a lot of people to mental health i've lost friends family members and relationships to mental health and with that loss i didn't want people who came into the room or the new space where we do these intimate interviews and have such profound important stories i didn't want them to feel the heaviness of whatever we would talk about i always wanted this space to be safe i wanted this space to be peaceful and i wanted folks to feel either inspired or encouraged by the art that was put up and each piece of art that's in the room actually has its own story behind it so what i found is each person who came through whether it was a family member whether it was my partner's family, whether it was a couple of folks who they've known me for years but never been inside my space. And there were always questions about the art. Why is this set up that way? What story are you trying to tell? Where did you get this from? And I came to realize that my intentions of creating a space that would encourage folks was brought to life. But I never really considered how it would affect people outside of the interviews and that was really cool to see so i'm definitely super excited for the next step of what this looks like i don't know when's the next time we're going to be shooting newer content in this space because you know there's every show that we've done has been shot in the same room whether it's in my shoes housekeeping and mental health monday and now that i have a bigger space and i have other opportunities i think it's time for each show to either spread its wings and spread out or figure out a different space and concept that really highlights the strong point of the content that we've shot so far a lot of great memories and very important conversations have had and happened in this room and i'm really looking forward to you know 
what kind of fight do I have in the dog when it comes to mental health, when it comes to folks that I like to collaborate with, when it comes to people that I see are trying to build their platforms on YouTube, on Instagram, on TikTok. And I've, I've, I've had all these opportunities where there are folks that are now reaching out to me and saying, hey, how do you do it? Or how did you do it? And I realized because I've, I've been consistent and always moved forward when it comes to the content started with shorts started with transition videos started with okay let's let's do some interviews started with okay let's plot out the week started with okay let's start planning out the months and then touching on all right we have these years that are coming up who are the people that we're going to bring back flushing out stories correctly and then checking in with the people whose stories have been flushed out correctly and asking, hey, how's everything going? Because I've, I've learned quite a bit through the stories of others, whether it be the therapists that we work with, whether it be the folks that have had manic episodes and they're now doing better, whether it be people sharing their wellness journey with me and me reflecting on my life and what I'm doing or I'm not doing and what does it look like to really get it together because like being an advocate and being someone who makes the content that doesn't mean that you follow your own advice and that doesn't mean that you have the right amount of awareness it's very easy to let folks know what they should do as someone that's working on the work but it's not often that easy that you hold the mirror up to yourself and you say hey mirror Am I doing right by the advice that I'm giving folks? Am I really taking care of myself? Am I really reaching out to the fam and keeping it 100? And am I keeping in contact with the real people? A lot of the work that I do, there's a lot of time that's taken from your personal life when it comes to building content, learning how to edit, building clips, calling the right people, following up with folks. And it always amazes me when people are excited to do a sit down with me or excited for the follow up or they look forward to us having these intimate conversations. So, you know, with that being said, I'm just, I'm grateful. I'm grateful that I get to recreate another space in a, in a different space, a much wider space. And, and I try to figure out the pros and cons and really bring things to life. And, you know, with that being said, I'm just looking forward to what do we do next in this space and who can we encourage that? has encouraged me so it's your boys juice jones from get home safe with another episode uh i guess this counts as a housekeeping episode because this is technically housekeeping because moving to another spot god i'm so excited for this other place um like subscribe share uh thank you everyone that's uh supported us thus far thank you to the new followers that are going to be pulled up to see what else is it that we bring to life and you know, check out what we've done so far between Mental Health Monday, between In My Shoes. Might be doing something different with the housekeeping episode after this. You don't know, man. You know, I love I love folding laundry. But with that being said, this has been another episode. And uh, we're moving. Peace.